Swedish powerhouse soft tube coming in hot first on Mixbus TV, the new bus processor. Let's take a look at it. I didn't see this coming. The guys just dropped it on me a month and a half ago or something. But sure thing, it was a very welcome surprise. The new bus processor by Softube. And this bad boy is a beauty packed with no nonsense features and it sounds great. Let's take a look at the GUI. First of all, we have a resizable. Let's make it big. At the top left, we have the compressor wet dry knob for parallel compression on board. Big meter with gain reduction at the bottom and drive leg segment at the top. Let me show that to you right there in red. On the left, we have the side chain stereo link. We go from dual mono, fully variable to stereo. Below that, we have a low cut filter and a one knob tone shifter. It goes from bass, fully variable to treble. Think of this as a tilt filter, but don't forget, this is the side chain, okay? So with this tone shift, you adjust what the compressor reacts to. It's not an output EQ. We'll see an example in a minute. An external side chain button, if you wanna trigger your mix with something different than your mix, I actually have a video showing a couple of really cool tricks. If you've never seen it or never thought about doing, I'll put the link down below. In the center, we have our classic glue compressor control, threshold makeup gain, attack release with a really cool function, tempo sync to your DAW. So instead of setting your release in milliseconds, you can sync it. And as you can see, it can be a 16th, a 8th, a 4th, and it's actually variable. You can see there's a percentage, okay? Ratio that starts at one to three, and I'm happy about it because believe it or not, on my two bus compressor, the classic glue compressor, I wanna say three times out of 10, I'm not running the classic four to one ratio, but I'm actually using 1.5 in one of my hardware compressors. So I'm really happy to see it here starting at even lower at 1.3 because it makes the compressor way more versatile. We also have a knee control fully variable from hard to soft and a compression range. This will limit the amount of compression that you are applying regardless where your threshold or your ratio is. I'm giving you an example. If you have a song that has very low energy verses and a big chorus, sometimes the swing in dynamic is so much that you would have to automate the threshold or the settings that work for the verse will compress too much on the chorus. But on many compressors, changing the threshold can change the sound and the action of the compressor. With this one, let's say you wanna limit your compressor to 3 dB and you're compressing 1 dB on the verses, but you don't wanna compress more than 3 dB on the chorus without changing anything you use the range and limit to 3 dB. On the right, the fun part, the saturator, and Softube kind of spoiled us with really good saturation. We have a dedicated wet dry knob for the saturation, so you have the amount here, and if you want, you can drive it really hard, but then inject only a little bit of that. And it's cool that the wet dry knob are separated for the compressor and the saturator. Below the amount knob, we have two switches, tone and harmonics. The tone engages the tone shift, which this time around is for the saturation part changing the collection and the density of the harmonics in different parts of the spectrum. Below that, we have the pre-comp button, which of course puts the saturation before the comp. And at the bottom, we have an output knob, the section engage, which bypasses individually saturation, compressor, and the stereo processing, which has three controls, air, width, from mono to super wide, and mono bass. Pretty promising, like I said, no nonsense features. Without further ado, let's hear how it sounds. And I'm gonna start just with basic compression because I wanna show you how the tone shift in the side chain works. I'm gonna play a fairly bass heavy track and you will see that if I leave it off or I go towards the bass, the low range is gonna trigger the compressor. But as I move towards the treble part, the compressor will react to the low end less and less and focus more on the high mid parts. Let's start. I'm gonna start with my starting point settings for the glue compressor. So attack a 15, four ratio, and I would usually shoot for a couple of dB. In this case, I'm gonna push it a little more so we can see the action. Hard knee and range, I'm gonna set it at 10 so we can push it a little more again and you guys can hear it clearly. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa vamonos. Ya toca lado. I know ya grinding. All right, you hear with a bass heavy track like this, the kick and bass, they're triggering, they're making the compressor swing this much. So I'm gonna ease out uh, the side chain. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock 
fucking load It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes These artists choke, can't stand this kind of smoke Adios Que pasa nasa vamonos Ya toca lado do I know ya grinded dominoes Ya need to stop it and go stock it Or go mop the flow <laughs> Rapido I'm a capo Do tu ti capi You are not Hey yo face, let's put the heat on These weak miles but Nice glue right off the bat and of course if you just want to cut the low end from the side chain you can use the low cut here. I'm gonna set this one let's say a 50 and the stereo link again for those who are not familiar with these type of controls which are not on every compressor the stereo link in the side chain tells the compressor react to left and right in the same way or react independently to the left and the right in the side chain. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones They be rushing to get your body home Rocky fold, lock and load It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes These are You won't hear much difference with a track like this Which is pretty much symmetrical You have a kick and a snare Just a mono vocal Not much going on on the sides But if you have like a rock track Or, or a jazz piece Or electronic music Which has elements that are not symmetrical The left and the right You will find this control very useful the compressor, as you can see, is very gluey, very grabby, so I'm gonna back off the ratio a little bit. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load, it's all for the... And notice one thing, the, the hardware does exactly the same thing. You can see that when I'm a four, the compressor compresses less. We have a little less gain reduction, which might not make that much sense, but it does, because the hardware glue compressor style does exactly this when you lower the, the ratio the knee becomes softer so it grabs below the threshold okay in fact you can hear that at four it's kind of a more alive while as we go low with the ratio it becomes almost a leveler okay so depending on the style that you are uh, processing a hip-hop track you want it to be pumpy and to be exciting and to be alive versus a ballad when you want the compressor to kind of massage the material okay so in this case we are going to lower the threshold to have pretty much the same amount of compression Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa vamonos. Ya toca lado do. I know ya grinded dominoes. Ya need to stop it and go stock. This is nice. I am not fooling you with level. I am making up the gain for 1.7, which is exactly about how much we are compressing. And you hear really dense that glue sound. Love it. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. This is really nice. Listen to that snare and how the vocals come up in front of you. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa vamonos. Ya toca lado do. I know ya grinded dominoes. Love it. Love it. Let's go with saturation. Same settings. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa vamonos. Ya toca lado do. I know ya grinded dominoes. I love this. I love when a saturator, first of all, I love the tone of it. It's not brittle and it doesn't fool you with the trick. Oh, here's a little more brightness at the top. It's actually pretty dark and beefy. But what I love, and this is the first time that I'm trying it in front of you guys, you clearly hear the sweet spot, which is about, I want to say, 11 o'clock, at least in this track with this gain staging. And then it starts to kind of fold after i want to say two o'clock right which is normal because they give us range and you can use this on single tracks or groups as well it's called bus processor but it's not just two bus it can be any bus and if you don't have that much experience you don't have to guess it's straightforward and very obvious so let's go from zero to ten and just listen to, for that sweet spot before we continue if you're not subscribed please hit the subscribe button and consider using the super thanks if you like the content and if you really want to learn how to mix and master there professionally click the join button down here become a mix TV member access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses start to finish mastering courses on many different genres and a lot more let's get back to the video 
Flash karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa vamonos. Ya toca lado do. I know ya grinded dominoes. Ya need to stop it and go stock it or go pop. I want to say even more, even I want to say like three o'clock and a little more. It still sounds good and sounds powerful. I love it because just Softube has this thing with saturation. They they are able to make it very organic, like very impressive. And then of course it kind of folds past three o'clock or something. Now I'm gonna play with the tone shift and I'm gonna put it pre and post comp to see what it does to our gain reduction. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa vamonos. Ya toca lado do. I know ya grinded dominoes. Ya need to stop it and go stock it or go pop the flow. <laughs> Rapido. I'm a capo. Do tutti capi. You are not. Hey yo face. Let's put the heat on. These weak miles put them cheap rhymes. Beat on these peons. Still I see him holding up peace signs. Y'all better be Dude, <laughs> this thing sounds awesome. Like seriously, uh, usually when I have a tone shift like this, so this kind of a tilt filter, but in this case it's not EQ, is where do we want the saturation to be denser in the in effect more the low range or the top end. I am myself a fan of using saturation instead of EQ. If you have any of my mixing courses, you see me doing that every other track, if not more. <laughs> but when I have controls like that, I usually like either the top or the bottom, never both. Uh, it, I don't know why, but it's usually the case. Sometimes even with harder, but with this, I would need two because I like the bass just as much as the treble. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa vamonos. Ya toca lado do. I know ya grinded dominoes. Ya need to stop it and go stop. If you notice the gain reduction when we put the saturation pre or post comp, it doesn't really change the gain reduction. This tells me immediately that the saturation, it simply doesn't give me a nominal level, which is what you want. It just, again, give me density. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa. Definitely useful for some material. I wouldn't use it on a dark track like this, but for pop, definitely useful. Catch karate blows like Johnny Bones. They be rushing to get your body home. Rocky fold, lock and load. It's off at the top of your dome like artichokes. These artists choke. Can't stand this kind of smoke. Adios. Que pasa nasa. And as usual, my taste, uh, this is personal taste, uh, I almost never like saturation in parallel on a full mix on tracks, every other track. And same as compressor, I'm not a fan of a parallel compressor, again, especially on a mix, a single track is a whole different ball game, but I would actually don't need it because the amount goes from literally zero, the, the range is so wide that I would not feel the need to use it. Let's change song and let's start playing with a spatial section. Okay, so very, very cool. This air is quite different from the tone shift and the saturation, of course. This is more like probably actual top lift with an EQ. It sounds really great. It reminds me of one of my uh, air EQs that I have here, analog, and uh, watch it because it fooled me right now. I 
was like, hey, you know, this is nice. I'm going to keep going, keep going. And I was like, oh, this is about right. And I was like about three o'clock like this. And then I bypassed it and I realized how much top end I added. So be careful with it. Take your time. Just bypass every, every little move you do with this. Oh, a little goes a long way here. <laughs> it actually it really reminds me of one of my hardware EQs. Okay, and the width is no joke either. A little goes a long way. We know this about uh, stereo wideners, but again, the range is huge here. It goes up to 300%, so keep that in mind. And as you know, I'm not a fan of the mono in the bass like this, but I also don't know what technology they uh, use for this. Maybe it's face compensated, maybe it's left and right compensated and everything, but it's there. If you wanna use it, you use it. If you're like me, you don't need to, still there. I'm gonna try to leave everything, the saturation and the compressor, and uh, just bypass this section here. I'm just gonna go like 120% with the sides, not touching the mono, and just in and out this section. I love this saturation and the reason now I realize at least on this track the reason because I really like the bass side of the tone shift it's because it doesn't really go really really deep like 30 or 40 but it's more in the knock area listen to the kick drum when I switch and I go from even the middle to the bass So nice, and in this case, you can you can hear uh, by putting a pre-comp. We're still not touching the amount of compression, but it tightens even more that kick there. Uh, I want to say bus processor plus Chandler curve bender. You have a two bus dream chain in in the box. <laughs> and here's a simple mix trick. If you missed it while I was moving the sidechain controls, if you notice, I went from almost all the way to the treble when I was in the dark hip hop mix, right? To kind of an in between here, a little towards the treble, but not that much near the center for this EDM track. Because for a song like this, my goal was, I'm gonna go back to almost all the way on the treble where I was, is to have the kick and the snare to kind of trigger the compressor equally, all right? So if I'm staying on the treble side, it's only the snare and the vocals that triggers the compression, and the groove is gonna be kind of off. <laughs> Okay, it jumps every time the claps play, and it does this, and it's not really the groove of the song. So if you keep your eyes now on the tone shift and the gain reduction, you'll notice that I back off until I see that, and I hear the kick and snare kind of trigger the compressor at the same time, and now we have the bouncy groove that the song has with the compressor that follows. And now we can try to tempo sync the release.
Okay, really nice feature to have the DAW tempo sync, especially for electronic music. Bass heavy track, I'm gonna try to crank it. Got it worse, no sunshine on this side of town. You could get lost and never be found. Fuck it, I'm a ride up to my fucking time's out. So I gotta make it. It's do or die now, and my soul is sainted. Chippin' up by now, running out of patience, losing my mind now. Younger, my stomach growling from hunger. No food in the fridge. My mother grinding for supper. In my city where your future look gritty. And streets got potholes, compliments deceiving. They plying cause they don't got those. Some days I couldn't cope. Felt like my back against the rope. But I had hope to find a way and stay afloat. No assistance. Now times is different. Marble counters all in my kitchen. It got real this year. Convos hit different when they with millionaires. A million ears, I bet they still wouldn't listen. A million steers, they couldn't rocky my prism, but still they there. It sounds nice, man, and I'm not, again, fooling you with your level. We are compressing a little more than 2 dB, and I'm making the gain up for 2 dB even. The compressor really reminds me of the gray face old glue, glue compressor and kind of the darkish tone at the top but it's more like this softening and gluing the top end together and second because the saturation and even the stereo section it doesn't turn a mix inside out. I mean, the tone is that one. It's so subtle, the enhancement, whether you tone shift bass or the treble, and I really like the compressor. Well, where's the surprise? I possibly have all the plugins that I <laughs> have to make, and uh, my C1 is always here, uh, one on every channel for me, and they just make great stuff, that's it. But I wanna know what you guys think about this new plugin, and if you are in Los Angeles, I am speaking at the innovation panel at NAM, April 13, with Dweezil Zappa. We are gonna present uh, an incredible project that we've been working together and uh, telling you some big news of the collaboration between me and him in Akari Atmo Studio and many, many more to come. So if you are in Anaheim, Los Angeles, April 13, 5 p.m., Innovation Lounge, I'm gonna be speaking there and you can ask me, us questions. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like. Use the super thanks if you want to support the channel. Join to access the exclusive content. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.